yourself in. Are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. Back to the inn, I guess. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alvin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this! Look sharp, people! 
If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! We can't let even a single one through! There's a firm no Zuko policy. Fine by me. Let's get to work yet. You okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. You know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage, this fury I feel at our so-called rulers, it comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bonds with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an. Then we defeat Volron. Liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thessalon from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. 
Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait, don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. Thistleham was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some Zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renan. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. Mm. <sighs> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell. You've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Oh, I think there's someone in trouble here. Well, let's see. See what they have to say. It feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah. I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out.
like trouble with a capital P. Together, we've got this. You're mine. Looks like we won. Man, this place is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elden Men in... Oh, man. I hope I live long enough to regret it. Here I come! Double demon fang! Dragon form! There's always room for improvement. Hi, Hoodle. You're mine. Armor won't save you. Storm. In a bind. First strike. Here I come. Shining it's supernova. Over. Go. Look this one keeps charging us. That's what my shield's for. Get ready. behind me. Got it. I'll leave Super it to you. Make it great. I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life! A whirling struggle. Here I Magic come! Is this one can not start! You're finished! Huh. Take this! Double Eagle demon roll. fang! Make it Dragon rain! Dragon Life burst forth! Radiant citizen! Falling to a hurricane! You're finished! Eagle we fly! Power is forth! Dragon swarm! Now! Kisara! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Don't get careless. Shouldn't have messed with me. Double demon fang. I'm 
This should come in handy when crafting weapons. What's this thing? Sprightlier than before. Onward and upward. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Could have been worse. Oh, Ow! Move 
Should come in handy when crafting weapons. Oh, I needed those too. 